Representative Hash. Thank you, Madam Speaker. A point of personal privilege. State your point of personal privilege. Um, Madam Speaker, members, um, yesterday this body lost um, a statesman, a former member who many of us have served with. Um, the state lost a statesman. Our community in central Minnesota lost a statesman. Um, Representative Larry Haas was one that probably brings a lot of smiles to our faces. Um, one thing that uh, we may remember him by is his fedora. I won't put it on today because I can't fit in his shoes nor his hat. Uh, but Representative Haas was an amazing individual. Um, we all would wish that we leave a legacy behind. I think that's something that comes with public service. Um, but Representative Haas, of all the people I've served with, has left a legacy behind like no other. Um, he has been a public servant for six decades. He's been a coach, a teacher, a community member with the Parks and Rec Department in St. Cloud, a county commissioner, and a state legislator. He has touched countless lives, lives that he saw grow up and have children of their own, and lives that he touched that he probably hadn't even met. Um, that is the true mark of a statesman. Um, when Representative Haas retired in 2010, um, he addressed this body and he talked about um, the, the work above the Speaker's desk. And the work above that he referenced as the spirit of government. Representative Haas embodied that spirit of government. He believed in the work that he did and that we all did. He believed in the unbounding possibilities that young kids and children can have. And he contributed and he cherished and he cultivated that spirit, not only in the work that he did, but the lives that he touched. Um, I'm going to miss him. I sat next to him for his service here in the House, and um, sometimes I'd have to back up a little bit because he gets so animated, and I wanted to make sure that uh, I wasn't an um, uh, unintended target, um, but he was a special person, and I will miss him as a friend, and the state will miss him as an advocate, as a statesman, as a true embodiment of the spirit of government. Um, with that, Madam Speaker, I would like to yield to Representative Banyan. Member from Stearns, Representative Banyan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Representative Hosh. Um, this, is a, this is a difficult uh, speech uh, uh, to give, but it's one that's necessary, I think. Um, I knew him in the community a lot, but by, mostly by the headlines that you see, he made such an impact, as Representative Hosh said, for six for six uh, decades in our community. And when I uh, campaigned to, to try to win the, win the opportunity to represent the district that he served, I won't say his seat, it's not his seat, it's not my seat, I found a lot of people who had been touched by him. One of them, one of them I remember particularly knocking on his door and, and he says, well, who, what, who are you running against? I named my opponent and says, well, I don't remember that person. Whose seat is this? And I said, currently held by Representative Haas. Coach Haas. Yeah, I remember him. You know what Coach Haas did for me? When I was a kid, I wanted to wrestle, but you needed shoes to wrestle with and I didn't have the shoes. Coach Haas got me the shoes. It's hard to beat a. It would be hard to. It's easy to understand. It'd be hard to uh, beat a guy that you know, has actually given shoes to folks. And as I went on, I got to experience it personally. I want to tell you one story and tell you the story of the last time I saw Representative Haas. Um, Representative Haas was a coach, and, and we mentioned wrestling, but his his heart was really with the uh, Cathedral High School cross country team. That was really something he felt very strongly about. In our team, my daughter runs cross country with a different school, and we would see Representative Haas at all of these different events, all these cross country meets, and he would greet me with, "How's your daughter? How's my favorite Republican? How's my?" And, and just this wonderful voice and a guy that clearly was still bound by the wheelchair, but you know, in body, but certainly not in spirit. And I remember Sar in, it was in Sartell where I saw him last at a meet there. And, and at the finish line, he cheered for his cathedral runners who won the meet and cheered for all the other kids too, including my daughter. And that meant a lot to me. So I'll miss him too. And with that, Mr. S Madam Speaker, I would hope I could yield to uh, Representative Gottwald. A member from Stearns, Representative Gottwald. 
Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker and members, I don't know what I can add uh, to what Representative Hosh so eloquently said. He and Larry were such great colleagues here on the floor. And uh, Larry, I'm going to miss you too. Um, our two Larrys in the back, we often confuse their names. Um, but I know Larry was a great mentor to you and a great friend. And, and um, it's so hard to describe. Uh, St. Cloud has lost a great man. And I talked with some of my friends back in the community last night, and none of us can imagine what St. Cloud is going to be like without Larry Hawes. I mean, it, it has not dawned on us yet that this great man has passed from our midst. Um, Larry was a man of passion, of good humor, of generosity, and one of the most genuine individuals I have ever met. You always knew when Larry talked to you or advocated on an issue or uh, did anything that it was coming right from here, that it was coming right from the heart. Um, whether it was with his own kids or with the so many kids that he, he coached and taught. Um, I had the chance to serve for nine years on the St. Cloud City Council when Larry was our Parks and Rec Director. I served as the City Council Rep on the Parks and Rec Board and watched the passion with which he approached that too. He loved making our community better. He loved trying to make it a better place to live, our parks, our recreation, giving kids meaningful activities. And that came from his own experience as a young person. I, I had not heard it before, but he once gave a speech. Um, I forget what the event was. But Larry got up and he talked about his own youth. And he, he identified that as the font for his commitment to young people. And, and he really had that, uh, just in spades. Uh, an incredible, incredible man cared about veterans. You know that he led the way on veterans issues here at the legislature a lot. Uh, cared about vulner vulnerable people, poor people, people who needed help. Um, but Larry, we are going to miss you so much and our hearts go out uh, to Faye and to your four kids and to all the people uh, that, that you touched uh, so eloquently with your life. Um, Madam Speaker, at this time I'd like to ask for a moment of silence. Members, please stand for a moment of silence for former Representative Larry Hawes.